Well, Blue Origin is a, um, a, 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 a space, a company that's developing a vertical takeoff, vertical landing space vehicle. Uh, and uh, so it takes off on its tail like a normal rocket and then comes back and lands on its tail like a Buck Rogers rocket. It's designed to be reusable. Um, we've built our first development vehicle. We built our second development vehicle. We're right now working on our third development vehicle. Great team of engineers located in Seattle. Another team of people uh, test and operations in West Texas where we do our flights. And uh, it's, uh, it's proceeding along very nicely. Uh, I'm hopeful that this third development vehicle will be our last, but we can't know for sure. And then we will uh, build our operational vehicle and start taking people to suborbital uh, mission. We'll sell tickets. The long-term goal of Blue Origin is to not only do suborbital, but also orbital, and to democratize space travel so that anybody who wants to go into space can afford to do so. Are there particular challenges with vertical takeoff and landing that, that other approaches don't have? Yeah, um, every approach has its pluses and minuses. The thing that I like about, uh, well, first of all, you need reusability. So when you go look at any approach that doesn't have reusability is never going to be low cost. There are only two problems with space travel today. It's too expensive and it's too dangerous. Other than that, it's fine. So we hope to solve those two problems. And if you want to solve those problems and have a space-faring species, you need, to, um, you need to practice. And you can't practice with expendable vehicles. Uh, it's like, you know, it's flying your, you know, you get onto a 747 with a bunch of other passengers, fly to Hawaii, and then throw the whole plane away. It's just a bad, it's a bad cost structure. And um, so we need reusability. So you have to get the vehicle back. And uh, one of the ways to get it back is to put wings on it, um, and then you can land it on a runway. Another way to get the vehicle back is to land it vertically under, under rocket power. And both techniques have advantages and disadvantages. One of the things I like about vertical landing is if you get it to work, it's very scalable. It scales to very, very large size. Whereas wings sort of, you know, they top out a bit. 